Okay, ladies and gentlemen, last section of chapter one. We are going to combine. We're going to combine a few of the ideas about potential energy curves, and the idea of a catalyst, and show you how a catalyst can uh, help speed up a reaction. And we're starting off with another world's famous quote by some really popular unknown author: um, "To avoid a hill, build a tunnel." That's the idea of a catalyst. You laugh now, but that's how it works. To avoid a hill, build a tunnel. So let's have a look at the potential energy diagram. The black line, a single step reaction. The EA goes from the reactants to the top of the peak, like this black bold arrow here. That is uncatalyzed. If I add a catalyst, the catalyst creates an entirely new mechanism with a lower EA. It could have 50 steps, but as long as that EA is lower, the reaction will be faster. So I drew it as two steps to make it nice and neat, and you can see from this blue arrow that the EA of the catalyzed reaction is less than the EA of the uncatalyzed reaction. Therefore, that blue dotted line reaction, even though it's two steps, will be faster than the one single step because the re energy required to have a successful collision is lower. So there are a few very simple points to fill in on your notes here. Um, energy required for EA is less than w is less with a catalyst, so it speeds up the rate. It usually involves more steps, but it doesn't always have to. This third point is huge. A catalyst never changes the potential energy of the reactants or products, only the route between them. Guaranteed test question, quiz question, worksheet question, question we're going over in class tomorrow. The reactants and the products start and end in the same spot, therefore the delta H is the same. A minor point is that the uncatalyzed reaction still continues to operate because some reactants have the ability to go through the uncatalyzed route. And thirdly, if a catalyst speeds up the forward rate, it'll also speed up the reverse rate, which is a point that will become more important in Chapter 2. I have a few examples to follow, but here is everything on one diagram. Whether you want to read it again, forward, reverse, take a look at this. Ask me some questions tomorrow. Here's an example of uh, platinum solid platinum helping break down oxygen gas is just one way a catalyst helps speed up, up a reaction this solid platinum has just the right enough spacing to help break apart those O2 molecules and therefore um, the reaction will uh, will go faster um, the example I showed you in class which didn't quite work I'm going to order new hydrogen peroxide is this one um, hydrogen peroxide, I tried to add that black powder, MnO2, to speed up the reaction to water and oxygen. Um, you could also do it with Ki, but I like MnO2. Um, when the catalyst is added, it creates uh, two steps, and outlined right here, step one, step two. I want to point out that MnO2 or I- minus would be the, the catalyst. Um, so this is the catalyst right here, like this. And um, we can also f show reaction intermediates, which is a good review. Um, IO minus would be a reaction intermediate. So when you cancel things off this way, they're reaction intermediates. And when you cancel things off uh, the other way, like this, uh, they're catalysts. Um, great test question as well. I minus is the catalyst. IO minus is the uh, reaction intermediate. You combine everything else, just like we did a few sections ago. Let me change color, and you will get um, the overall reaction. Um, there's some good examples in section 112. Read a few pages. Try a few practice questions. We'll see everybody in class tomorrow.